Today, I'm going to open the Geek Gear Wizardry Potions Master Limited Edition box. So when they announced the theme of this box, I was kind of torn. I was like, well, do I sign up for this one? Because I, I would like to consider myself to be a potions master. So I was like, well, do I sign up for this one? Thinking that maybe we would get some items that um, would be like a cauldron or some cool um, themed pieces that maybe aren't necessarily some of their little potions they've been putting in. But then I was also hesitant because I was like, what if it's a box of nothing but their potions, which are basically just glitter in the jars. And while they're good for people who, you know, are not creating bottles, for me, I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm going to have to fix this bottle because, you know, I, I have no interest in a bottle that just has nothing but glitter in it. So I was a little bit torn when um, when this one popped up, but I thought, you know, if I don't order this and there's a couple really cool items in there that are potions related, I, I may regret it. So I decided to go ahead and order it. So let's go ahead and open it. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, okay, right off the bat, I see the shirt. So let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, this is pretty cool. So it is a Potions Master shirt, and it has comfort, love, deep sleep, confusion, and transform. And um, yeah, I kind of like that. I, I The only thing I'm, I kind of wish they would have done differently is maybe have some other color in there. I, I kind of feel like this goldy tan color that they used is kind of lackluster. I almost would have preferred it to be like shiny silver or all of them be a slightly different color something, but it is a cool shirt and I will definitely be wearing it. Um, I kind of like that it's on the white, but yeah, I, I don't know about this tan color that they went with for the actual potions, but it is a very cool shirt. And I, and I get that they can't necessarily put the names of the potions on there because, you know, Deep Sleep would be Draft of Living Death, Amortentia. Uh, this might be Draft of Peace. This would probably be Polyjuice Potion. So, you know, obviously they can't use some of the real names because they're probably trademarked. But, yeah, I, I like it. It's a different shirt. I just wish they maybe would have gone with a slightly different color choice. But let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. Okay, so the other thing that's kind of on the top here. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not usually a big ball cap girl, but I do like to wear a ball cap occasionally. Definitely will have to bend this in. I, I, I'm not a fan of caps that are straight across without being worked in. And I know that's a style some people like, but yeah, I, I prefer mine to have a little bit of a bend to it. Yeah, okay, that's cool. It's different. Uh, definitely kind of with like a Slytherin vibe, and I get it because both the Potions Masters were Slytherin. But, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see what else is there. It would have been really neat if they would have done some little like embroidered potion bottles back here or something. But, yeah, that's pretty different. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, I see a licensed piece. So let's pull this out. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I love this. Let me take this out so you guys can see it a little better. Okay, so this is really cool. And I actually had this uh, traveling cup, and it's ceramic. I actually had this in a shopping cart. I believe it might have been from Hot Topic or one of those. Because I love that it has, like, the advanced potion-making cauldron on here. And it's got some of the different little potion labels, which is really cool. The orange, I, I almost wish they would have gone with, like, the navy versus the orange. I get it. There's orange stars throughout it, but this is super cute. And I love these travel mugs. Um, they really definitely work. I, I love them, and I love the, the silicone lids. They wash up really, really well. But, yeah, this is super cute. I kind of wish it was a little bigger. Uh, for those of you who are Starbucks people, I'm a venti kind of girl, and this is more of, like, a grande. But, uh, yeah. This is super cute. But like I said, I almost bought this. It literally was in my cart, and I was like, no, I have a lot of travel mugs. I don't need another one. But I'm super excited that I got it now because I would have been mad if I would have already ordered it and I would have gotten a second one. So super cute. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Okay, we have a box. And it doesn't say anything. Oh, looks like this might be a potion. Yep, Draft of Living Death. Okay, not bad. 
It's obviously, again, just um, black glitter. But the label's not bad. Um, they did a little bit of the jute twine on the neck. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're not someone who's making potion bottles, this isn't bad. Um, I obviously think my draft of Living Death is slightly better. But, um, but that's just me. Everybody has their own preference. But for a mass-produced potion, this one's pretty nice. So, all right. Oh, we have another box. And it looks like it's already slightly open. And it's another potion, which I kind of expected that there might be a couple potions in here. I'm going to guess this is Wolfsbane. Yep. Let's say I saw the blue. All right. So we have the Wolfsbane potion, and there's a little wolf charm on here. Again, it's the glitter. But, I mean, honestly, like I said, for mass-produced, these are not bad little potion bottles by any means. Um, I'll put links at the end of the video to my Wolfsbane and Draft of Living Death. And by all means, you definitely could use this bottle to transform it into uh, the similar potion that I made. But, yeah, they're not bad. And they're, they're very nice little glass bottles. They're very similar to a lot of the glass bottles I use. So, yeah. Ooh. Got a pin or something. Ooh, okay. So we have a Amortentia or Love Potion pin. And that is super cute. I like the enameling on here, the way it kind of splashed up. Cute little pink and purple. Very nice. Okay, that's cute. I like that a lot. Ooh, looks like we got another pin. And I'm going to open it before I flip it over to look at it. And, oh, it says Potions Master. Okay, cool. So we actually got a bigger Potions Master pin, I don't know, probably about a year ago. And it was green like this. It was a little different. And I actually transformed it into a Christmas ornament and put it on my Harry Potter Christmas tree. But this is super cute. I like how small this is. Very simple. This will be super cute on a bag. Oh, it looks like we might have gotten some artwork. Mine looks a little bent. Hopefully it's okay. Let's see. Ooh, oh, I love this. Okay, so again, they printed it on that really awesome paper that they've been printing some of their stuff on where it almost feels like a watercolor paper consistency and or like a paper you'd use for like pastels. And I love this. So it's just like a little potions shelf. Super cool. Oh, and it's signed. I think it's signed. Uh, maybe it's just printed on there. I'm not sure, but uh, this advanced potion making illustration is by Paul Toner. I'm hoping it's Toner and, or Toner. I'm not sure which. And it's exclusive for Geek Gear. It did get a little bent up here. Um, but I think if I lay this under some books, it might flatten out and then I can frame it. But yeah, I really, really like that. Super cool. Okay. That's really nice piece. Oh, what is in the bottom? Okay, this is cool. So it is a Potion Master Certificate. Achievement in Alchemical and Magical Excellence. Potions Master, the ancient and historic department for the regulation and control of potions. That's really, really cool. So I love that you just sign your name here, and then it's actually like a certificate for you. And this is printed on a really nice, heavy cardstock. Again, mine got a little damaged, but that that's okay. Um, yeah, that's that's cool. It's probably one of my favorite pieces in the box, besides the artwork and that. And I, I do like the shirt, and I, I do love this travel mug quite a bit. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so we have the limited edition box, and it has the exclusive potions t-shirt, the exclusive potions master cap, exclusive potion master certificate, the potion master poster, the potion master pin, the love potion pin by Forever Magic, draft of living death potion, the licensed potions travel mug, and the wolfsbane potion. And again, this was the potions master's um, 
box. So yeah, I mean, overall, I think they did a good job. I was really worried that it might be a whole entire box of nothing but their pre-made potions. So that worried me a little bit, but um, I'm glad that they just did two and then they added some other potion elements in there. The, the hat is different. Um, I don't know how much I'll wear this, but yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely different. And, um, you know, I, I, I like that they didn't do all potion bottles and I love this. This is really cool. And I really do like this piece of art a lot. This will look really cool hanging in my Harry Potter room, I think, next to all of my potions. So that's really cool. And I'm super excited that I didn't already buy this and I was able to just get it in this box because I literally had it in there for quite some time and was like, no, I don't need it. And now I have it. So that's cool. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Did you guys like this video? If you did, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.